Today we'll be doing an install with a solar system consisting of a grow watt 24 volt 3000 watt inverter and a Victron 150 solar controller as well as a signature solar lithium 24 volt 5000 watt hour battery. Solar panels will have four on the roof and four on the ground consisting of 800 watts total. The installation will be on a Grand Design 315 RLTS. Some quick notes before we did the installation. We removed the washer dryer to make room for the battery and the inverter. We laid out the parts on the bed and preliminarily set up the battery and the inverter. Measuring the space to see what the box dimensions would be. We bought the wood from Home Depot. This is a two by four, and we cut it in half to make a two by two that fits perfectly in the closet. We're using two by three wood for the legs of the box. We also use parts of this for the section that's going to hold the battery in. Now we're cutting the feet. These are going to be slightly longer than the height of the battery, so the battery has room to breathe. We're using two inch by two inch L brackets to help support the feet. The battery weighs about 110 pounds by itself and the inverter with Victron probably weighs about 20. Now putting on the top and we'll screw in the top through the L brackets into the feet. You'll see here the dimensions of the box made it so it fits perfectly width-wise and it fits snug. Now we're moving on to the installation of the components. So the Growatt is the white box on the left and the Victron's the blue box on the right. The Growatt will supply 3000 watts of inverter power to the RV as well as it has an internal solar controller and this will be responsible for taking in the solar from the roof. The Victron, the blue box, will be responsible for taking in the solar from the ground. You can see here I'm cutting the positive wire for the Victron solar controller. That would be the right distance from the solar controller to the battery. Now I'm doing the same thing for the negative side. I've predetermined the length and cutting the open end and we'll plug that into the Victron box and then the terminal side into the battery. At this moment, I'm installing the positive end of the solar cable. This is going to be responsible for powering the roof solar panels and putting them into the Grow Watts and Turtle solar controller. The other end of these cables will have the MC4 connectors. 
I've installed the two gauge battery inverter wire that you see there in black. And now I'm combining the Victron negative with the inverter negative into the battery terminal. Next is the inverter positive two gauge wire, connecting it with the Victron positive into the battery terminal. Now for the exciting part, we turn on the battery and you can see it cycle through its startup process. The Victron senses power and the state of charge is 50%. And now to turn on the inverter. This part was one of the most difficult parts because the cable is so stiff. This cable is expensive because it's made of solid copper. I think it's a 25 foot roll I bought for $60 at Home Depot. You'll see I just finished the AC input, now working on the AC output using wire strippers to cut the end. Setting up the proper wire gauge is an entirely separate subject, but I'll put a link in the description that shows the, a wire gauge chart that I've used that helps me understand the length of the cable as well as a safe amount of power for that length. You'll see me using a needle nose pliers because the cable's so stiff, I'm trying to get the, the ground, the line, and the neutral into the holes. Now that the AC lines from the inverter are set, we decided to cut a hole in the floor that will go right into the pass-through and supply a pathway for the AC cables that will be on the other end. Here I'm installing the AC cables backwards. So the ends that were going to the inverter, I'm putting through the hole first. Now it's time to install the second line of the AC. Still very difficult to get it in and around the inverter wires. Now we're working on the other end of the AC lines outside the RV into the pass-through. And here we're installing some generic 30 amp male and female ends into the AC in and AC out. And one end, the RV power cable will plug into one of these. And another end, a generator power source could be plugged in to supply extra power if solar is not available. Here's an example of plugging in the RV cable into the AC system. Now we're moving on to the roof panel installation. Here we have four 100 watt HQST panels bought from Amazon. Each panel was about $90. First we installed the brackets on the ground. 
and then we lifted the panels out of the roof one by one. So you'll see here we're placing the four panels on the roof in the best configuration we possibly could. The one limitation that we had was that each of these needed to be close enough to each other so we could plug them in positive to negative to get a full series. So now I'm centering the panels on the roof, making sure that they are properly balanced. Now that we know where the panels are going to be for sure, I took a magic marker to each bracket hole. So when we move the panel to clean that spot, we know exactly where the panels go back. So before installing the panels on the roof, I wanted to make sure that the voltage was correct. So if each panel is about 22 volts, we're looking at about 85 volts total. Here I'm installing the screws that were supplied with the bracket into the roof, but only halfway. The reason I'm doing it only halfway is so I can lift the panel up and expose the space between the bracket and the roof so that I can caulk that part. And when the bracket rests on the roof, it makes a nice seal between the screw and the roof. And then here you can see I'm caulking the top of the screw heads and making sure that they don't leak. Here we're installing the positive and negative wires from the solar roof panels and putting them through the old washer dryer vent. That concludes our solar insulation video. We'll have a follow-up video of the system running. We've had it off-grid for about 10 days total and it works wonderfully. And thanks for watching.